Hello, I've been having a few problems with my Dell laser printer. It's a 1320C model and um, I've had to do a little bit of research to find out what's going on and effect a repair so I thought I would make this little video to uh, try and pass on what I've learned to see if it can help anybody else out. The uh, printer in front of me is as I say Dell 1320C and the problem is, let me swing over here, that prints which should look something like that are coming out the printer looking something rather like this. It's clear that the toner is not sticking properly to the paper. So, uh, having researched on the internet a little bit, I discover that the way these laser printers work is very cleverly, and I'm not knocking Dell at all for this, uh, they manage to spray a fine mist of powder called um, toner onto your paper and then run it through a series of rollers and past a very hot roller called a fuser which then melts the colour dust onto the paper and you result in a print just to show you where it is and what it is this piece is the fuser it gets quite hot and I'm not going to do it now but you can release it by pulling it out and then the whole thing comes out of the machine now it's a fairly complicated piece of kit and it's about £80 pounds to replace so when my machine started doing that I uh, was reluctant to go and spend that money immediately. So I read around it a bit. Uh, another comment I'd make is that the Dell official toner is probably brilliant but it is incredibly expensive and I'm sure many other people like me prefer not to use Dell toners but to use a cheaper alternative. These have actually been refilled from uh, a company in the Far East who send the powder over and I've refilled them four or five times, never had an in instant with them before. Uh, my first thought was that this toner probably is inferior and was the cause of the problem. Anyway, I now think that's not the case. The next likely cause of the problem is that the fuser isn't getting hot enough, which would result in only that semi-sticking of the the toner to the paper. It does feel quite hot I must say so uh, I happened on a, a replacement and I tried the replacement in thinking oh this is a, a known good uh, fuser unit and I put it in and lo and behold it doesn't make any difference it's just as poor as the other one was so I'm back to my original fuser having decided that couldn't be the uh, problem so I did a little bit of um, looking at the software, so I'm, I can't be bothered to plug my uh, screen in to do this properly, but there are a couple of things that you can do for yourself to help, and I think they've helped me too. First thing is you need to start the support software for the Dell, which I'll do here. Start the status monitor console. Okay, and then once that's running, you could probably just about see enough. In the bottom right side, there is a an icon, and then if you click on that, it brings up a little toolbox selection saying status window, toolbox update, and troubleshooting. If you go to the toolbox and you get into the detail here, you'll see there's um, a setting, a, a page called printer maintenance. It's the second page. And if you go down a bit, you have to wait for a moment for the um, information to keep up with you. You can go to a setting called Adjust Fuser. It takes a, a moment again. Now when you get to here, you have a list of all the different kinds of paper that the uh, printer can take. And you will see what I've done here. I've gone to Plain and I've upped the amount of uh, fuser I don't know whether it's temperature or length or whatever, but I've made the fuser work harder, so I've gone plus two. I've also done it for plain thick and for covers, covers thick, coated and coated thick, recycled. I did this because I wasn't sure what I was actually using. Uh, so now I'm making the fuser work harder or get hotter, whichever you prefer. But that's only half the story. There's one other thing you need to do. Let me exit the toolbox here. Yeah. When you go to print, pull down your print menu and go into properties, 
you need to find out what your printer thinks the paper is. Uh, so you go to paper tray and at the moment I've got paper tray set to covers. I think the default is just plain, something like plain. But anyway, I've got the tray one set to covers. Tray one paper type covers, here we go. Uh, there's lots of different types. Generally speaking, I use plain thick paper, so I'm going to set that, which makes sure that's one of the settings which has got the fuser working a bit harder. And I go OK. And then, of course, you can save this setting either as a default for your printer. I'll just go back to show you how that works. You go save and then label it. I've called it plus two fuser. And once you've done that, you can OK out of that. And now you can print normally. And what I have found is that that adjustment makes the difference between that, which is completely useless, and this, which is back to normal. So I've not replaced my fuser unit. I've not had any problems with um, the uh, toner dust. It purely would seem that I needed a little bit more um, temperature or effort from the fuser to make it work. And in this way, I've managed to restore what looked like a useless piece of junk to a working printer. So I hope this has been of uh, assistance to you. Uh, no disrespect to Dell, who I think these printers are fantastic as value for money and quality, but there are some things that are a bit more hidden, which I've found a little bit difficult to uh, resolve. Anyway, so if you've got prints like I had, and you want to get back to proper printing, this is something at least you could try. I hope this has been of help. Goodbye.